everyone, it's Ashley, our summer camp coordinator with Seminole Recreation. Let's see if she'll make a statement. Ashley, what's our summer camp theme this year? Seminole is doing Seminole Goes Hollywood this year. So exciting, and can you tell us the camp hours and camp days? Yes, we are running eight weeks this summer, uh, June 14th to August 6th. Perfect, and can you discuss the sign-in procedures with us? Yes, right here at the pool entrance is going to be our camp entrance uh, from 9 a.m. 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then 4:30 to 6 p.m. Perfect. And can we discuss some of that up here? Yes. Welcome to the Seminole Goes to Hollywood Summer Camp Parent Orientation Video. My name is Ashley Friedrich. I am your host as well as your camp director. It's been a challenging year this year. We've gone through some modifications with the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's flash through some of our modifications for camp. After signing in, campers will have to wash their hands before they join their groups. Rooms and touch points will be cleaned and disinfected throughout the day. Counselors and staff will clean and disinfect equipment after each use. I'd like to introduce our first announcer. Her name is Mary Anderson. She is our recreation leader too and she is overseeing our specialty camps this year. Let's go to Marin as she's on the playground. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks for joining us out on our playground. I'm Marin. I am our recreation leader that oversees specialty camps and will be assisting with our summer camp. Let's review our next category, camp attire. Make sure you wear closed-toed shoes, no heelys, no crocs, no flip-flops, no backless sandals. Let's check out the other requirements for this category. Campers must wear comfortable play clothes that can get dirty. Tennis shoes are required. Backless sandals, Crocs, flip-flops, wheelies, or jellies will not be allowed. Campers must wear camp t-shirts on field trip days. If they don't wear their camp t-shirt, they will be sent home. On swim days, campers must bring a swimsuit, towel, sandals, and sunscreen. Please apply waterproof sunscreen on your child before camp. Seminole staff will not be permitted to apply sunscreen or bug spray for campers. I am walking down the Seminole Hall of Fame. To earn a star on our Hall of Fame, the campers may not use their cell phones, their smartwatches, and other electronic devices. If campers need to call a parent or guardian, they can use our phone from the office. Let's see the other rules in this category. The use of cell phones, smartwatches, and other electronic devices from home are not permitted. Children must leave all personal belongings at home. We are not responsible for lost or stolen personal items. Please make sure that lunch boxes, backpacks, sunscreen, water bottles, etc. are marked with your child's name. Camp will maintain a lost and found box near the sign-in table. Certain items will be disposed of at the end of each week due to sanitary reasons. Campers are expected to bring a packed lunch and two snacks per day, whether they're on a field trip or not. They're also expected to bring a refillable water bottle. Let's see the other rules in this category. Campers will not have access to a refrigerator, microwave, or vending machines. We will sell drinks and snacks daily. Campers are not permitted to share food or drinks with others. Please label your child's bags, lunch boxes, and water bottles with their full name. Sodas and energy drinks are prohibited at camp and on field trips. If a camper brings these to camp, they will be taken away and re be replaced with water. For our next category, Pete Bartosik is our athletic coordinator and he's up in our eSports lounge. Many of our campers will enjoy this room throughout the summer. Pete? Oh, hello, how we doing? Oh. Sorry guys, you caught me mid game here, up in our e-lounge here, playing some Rocket League. Um, campers will get to experience the e-lounge this summer as well as other field trips off the premises. Let's take a closer look at that category. Campers must wear their camp t-shirts on field trip days. All children are required to go with their assigned groups. Waivers must be signed prior to departure. Children who don't attend the field trip may not attend camp that day as we won't have the staff available. Children who choose to participate in specialty camps instead of going with their field trip must be picked up when the specialty camp concludes. All right, so that was a lot of information thrown your way. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. And don't forget, we've got some specialty camps still available. We've got our eSports specialty camp, triathlon training, bakeology, archery, lots of
lots of specialty camps to choose from this year. You can check out what we've got available on our website or here in the Recreation Center. You do have to come and register in person at the Recreation Center. So don't wait to get in those spots. They are filling up. So come in and secure your spot for those camps. Fantastic. Well, that is all we have for our parent orientation video. We will see you guys on the red carpet in June.